just come back from UKIS and pick myself up a little hat. Thanks very much, Glenn. Appreciate the uh, the gift, sir. So, uh, quick update for you then. Uh, just come back from UKIS, a uh, really good event. And uh, here's a few pictures. It was a uh, really great show and uh, saw lots of people there. And I appreciate all the people that came out to UKIS and uh, obviously appreciate all the uh, people that um, I met over there. Uh, it was pretty uh, pretty overwhelming really, so um, um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to uh, all of those that came up to me and said that they watched my channel. Um, it was um, kind of surreal really, you know. I did meet a young chap over there and he gave me this. Yep, yeah, he's from the Royal Navy and I believe his name's Andy. Andy, thanks very much buddy. I really appreciate that. Uh, this guy's obviously in the Royal Navy and he's kind of always away, um, but he did mention that he kind of likes and looks forward to watching my videos, and that's pretty cool. Thanks very much. We will get this up in the shop somewhere. Not too sure where yet. I've got quite a lot of stickers that I picked up uh, over the weekend, um, and uh, this is definitely going to be a really great addition. So uh, thanks very much, buddy, and I'm glad that you uh, like the channel. Uh, so we've got a few uh, few updates for you. Um, I uh, picked up a few bits and pieces. Uh, got myself a little sharpening uh, tool. Picked up another little light, which looks quite good. It's like a magnetic light, so uh, this was quite good. And this was from uh, Wood Art Products, I think that's what they're called. This guy actually may well be coming to Maker Central. I did have a chat with him, and he sells some really cool things, including these lights. Also, these little uh, like LED lights as well. I mean, not just these. I mean, he sells loads of stuff. But I just kind of I picked these up because I thought they might be quite cool in a project. So you turn it like this. Oh no, that's that's turning it. Oh no, hang on a minute. It must have like some kind of seal in it. I think you must have to. Oops. Still works. So, you can't really see it. Hang on, let me turn this light off. There. Little baby LED lights, and they look pretty cool. Thought we would definitely be able to incorporate that in a project somewhere. Mm. So, you just turn it, and it just uh, turns off. That's it, really. So, he may be coming to make a central. I was chatting to him about it, and he said, you know, that sounds like quite a good... Um, show a few more makers that are attending. Turning Works, David Kappa Sanderson. I think that's how you say it. David Kappa Sanderson. David Kappa Sander. Sanderson, I, th I think it's. It's Turning Works. He's coming. Leave a link below for his channel if you wouldn't mind checking him out. Really nice chap. They call him Stiggy. Well, they used to call him Stiggy anyway. Picked up this sticker. Wood turning at 54A with Keith and Sheila. Uh, Keith's a lovely chap. I've been talking to him for quite some time. Keith couldn't commit just yet. Yes, he's got a, quite a lot on, but he did say he would definitely try to come. I reckon, I mean, to be fair, he lives up the road. So with a bit of luck, we may well see Keith there. Uh, really nice to meet you, Keith, if you're watching the channel. And obviously, Sheila, I'm coming round for a cup of tea. Got another maker coming, and that is a chap called, would you believe it? No, I wouldn't, mate. <laughs> That's my old mate, Leon. He did actually help me with the shop, and I think I've mentioned him before. He did a lot of the work in the uh, new workshop for me. But he was at UKIS, and he was selling these really great segmented kits, um, which I actually bought quite a few of, actually. He makes these segmented kits. And uh, he was at UKIS. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Another little tiny one, big one there. So although he's uh, uh, going to be exhibiting uh, at Makers Central, obviously he's also a maker as well. And he's got his own YouTube channel. So if you wouldn't mind checking him out, that would be really cool. I'm sure he'd appreciate a few new subscribers up there. I think he's been pretty busy, so I'm not too sure if he's got many videos up at the moment. But I definitely think it's worth checking him out because, um, you know, he does make some really cool things. Um, I mean, he made this. And that's pretty awesome. And that's up for sale if you want to buy it. I also had a chat with this guy, Pat Carroll. This guy is awesome. Um, he does some really fantastic wood burning. 
and uh, obviously being a wood artist um, uh, I had a chat with him about coming up to make essential he seemed pretty keen um, didn't 100% confirm but I think he was quite excited about it and he said that sounds like kind of my show and I think that he would definitely be there so I'm not too sure whether he'd have a stand or whether he would just be kind of walking around with the other makers but definitely Pat Carroll will be a uh, certain contender I'll be, I'll be emailing him quite a bit don't you worry I also met a lovely family as well and uh, they flew over all the way from Guernsey I think it was Guernsey or Jersey Guernsey I think it was to uh, come to UKIS for the whole weekend and um, they uh, they brought their little girl with them and uh, she was only six years old her name's Maya I think I got that name right um, so Maya if you are watching this I'll, I'll not sure if you'll probably be watching this because it's a bit boring uh, but she does watch kind of like some of my lego projects or maybe all of the lego projects really and uh bless her so i'm going to definitely be doing another lego project and that lego project is definitely going to be dedicated to you maya and do you remember this that this guy made me mark lewin who's up there as well and he's coming to make his central this is his uh company tq blanks I'll definitely check this guy out. I'll leave a link below for his uh, website. I think he's um, I don't think got a website or a Facebook page, but he's coming. And I saw another pen actually while I was there that he made. And look at this. Check this out. Deadpool. How cool is that? So he makes so many different pens um, and um, blanks. Obviously, TQ blanks. Um, so he's going to be there as well. Also had a chat with. Uh, Mike Hanbury as well if anyone knows Mike and I think that he's going to be coming to make a central as well so that's really quite exciting the list just goes on and on guys um, you know uh, we've definitely made some more progress with getting more makers down there and the list is just growing and growing and growing and growing we're pretty excited about it to be fair I saw loads more makers there and I had a chat with loads more people somehow I've seemed to have picked up a uh, Pat Lap sticker picked up this sticker the woodworking shed. I'm pretty sure this guy's coming to make a central as well. Um, also, Yuval. Now this guy is a legend. This guy's great. You want to check his channel out. Um, he hasn't confirmed 100% yet because uh, he just needs to check with family, obviously, and wife and stuff. But I will confirm to you guys whether or not Yuval is going to be there. And I pretty much think that he's going to come because, I mean, this guy was at UKIS. He came all the way from Italy for UKIS. Um, and he's very well respected in the uh, woodworking and wood turning and kind of like wood art kind of like uh, community. So, but he's a lovely guy and I really hope that he's going to make it. So uh, your vow. I'll leave a link below for his channel guys because uh, you definitely want to check this guy out. This guy is one hell of an artist. Got a few other stickers. Custom woodwork. Thank you. It's Friday. No. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, obviously we've got Temple Boy coming. Uh, Leon, I've already mentioned. Uh, who else have we got here? Wilmore's World of Wood. Another sticker. I'm pretty sure he's going to make it. There's your Val sticker. And lastly, Asgard. Is it Asgard? Asgard, wood turning. By Keith Saunders. Asgard. Isn't that from... Isn't that from Thor? What can Asgard offer its new king? I reckon he's coming too. That's all I've got to say, folks, and uh, thanks very much for joining me on the channel. A um, little bit of a waffle for you, hope that's okay. Uh, definitely making some real big progress with Make Essential, so that's going really well. And uh, oh, I have forgotten, we have got another exhibitor that's signed up, and that is Charnwood Machinery. So I uh, spoke to Alex uh, to come over for Make Essential, so he'll be there. He sells all sorts of stuff. I actually bought a few bits and pieces from Alex actually while I was there because he was at UKIS as well. I bought a couple of these spoons and I thought I'd make a nice little handle for the spoon. I bought three or four of them and uh, uh, but he sells all sorts of things like this, lots of pen blank stuff, uh, obviously machinery um, and uh, yeah it's quite good that he's coming on board so he's booked himself a little space and uh, we'll see him there as well with his team. Um, that's it really so um, thanks very much for joining me on the channel and I uh, hope you're looking forward to this Friday's project hopefully you'll enjoy it and uh, I'll see you on Friday take care